A Cranesville family of 12 is asking for the community's help tonight after a fire nearly burned down their home last week. Julia Hazel joins us now with more. Julia. Good evening, Jennifer. That's right. According to the family's friends, the fire began from a surge protector within the home. The family is taking it just one day at a time, hoping for as many donations as possible since they don't have any home insurance to cover the costs. A couple and their 10 kids survived a house fire on July 6, but losing almost all of their belongings in the process. And as you can see from this video Monday, there's not much left. It's just been a whirlwind of emotions and it was just a crazy, crazy morning, but I'm just very thankful that the fire departments for getting here so fast and, you know, just the, the love that we've all felt for, you know, from the community. Family friends rushed over to help as soon as they heard the news. I cried when the other day I wasn't here and, you know, unfortunately some other guys were here and just started throwing stuff away, the kids and stuff and some stuff that was salvage salvageable. Uh, cried for him. I mean, he's a, he's a good man, good man. Good family. The family has been receiving food and clothing donations. They were also able to borrow a tractor trailer they're using for storage. Even the amount of people that we don't even know that have contacted and reached out between, you know, dropping off donations um, and just seeing if there's anything else that anybody needs, just moral support, anything like that. It's it's just been amazing. Meanwhile, the family is staying at a red roof inn until their house is rebuilt. The family has been working on the house every single day, and what they need most right now from the community are building supplies. Drywall, nails, screws, tools, two, yeah, wood, two by fours, anything like that okay. would help. So, or if anyone like water, ice throughout the day, because it's going to be some hot days here. A benefit for the family is being held on August 13th at the Alvian VFW on Route 6 North at 2 p.m. If you would like to make donations to the family, you can drop off items at their house on Bateman Avenue. For more information on this story, head to our website at yourerie.com. Jennifer. All right, Julia Hazel, live in our control room tonight. Thank you, Julia.